Hello friends, I just wanted to share my first uh, junk journal, well not my first junk journal, but my first kind of hardcover made out of cardboard, and the first one that I tried to do more than one signature in, so it's far from perfect, but in the, well I don't know what I was just going to say, but <laughs> anyway, here, here it is, this is the outside. I believe, yes, it was made out of cardboard, and I think I added this guy later. It's just a brad and some die cuts. I clipped the ends off the brad so I could glue it on. This is similar to seam binding. It's, woo, my desk is, whoops, sorry there, uber messy right now, so I just kind of covered it up with this. It's this ribbon by Tim Holtz, or... Um, but I don't know what it's called. And I dyed it. That's what this is. And then, let's see, this tissue tape there. It's sewn in with, uh, like a, a waxed thread, waxed cotton or linen thread. Then we have a little, this is a chipboard element that I got somewhere. Who knows where. Um, and there's a, it's like washi tape, but it's fabric. And that is along... It, it, that's this polka dot up here along the edge and lots of ribbon and things. This is the stuff I had and um, put together. This was a Valentine card, I think. It's cute. My daughter gave it to me, so I stuck it in here. And there's a tuck here. This right here is seam binding that's been dyed. I finally got my hands on some of that. And this here is a piece of... Um, some kind of cardboard from packaging and I've got this little clip here and I heard somewhere on somebody's video where they talked about somebody doing a tutorial for making that so that you could actually write in your journals so that was my attempt there I haven't done anything permanent but it sure did help so I might do some kind of tutorial on that in the future my pen is hanging out there maybe I should take it off for right now because way. So there it is. And I figured I'd just keep it with it. This journal I decided to use for ideas, journal ideas, and uh, well, that's what I started doing. Just started today. I love this paper. I have no idea where it was from. I don't even remember. Little sticker there. And there's stamps throughout. And I did some my attempts at altered paper clips. These are my first, so yeah. This was part of a sticker, I think, and I took it apart, and it's a cute little booklet. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you might be able to tell that some of these things aren't my best work, so to speak, but it was my first, and I learned a lot from it, and I still really like it. And the one thing I learned was I didn't like doing the papers this narrow. This book is six, I want to say six inches by... Well, the pages were six inches by, I'm trying to remember because I just measured it, I think under, just under four, these pages here. And so it's a little bit narrow, and some of them are, are even narrower. I was just using scraps, so, you know, here's what I had. But from that, I did learn, oh, I think I like it a little bit wider than that, at least for this size. I love, I love penguins. This is a little bookmark I've had for years and years and years. And of course, I've never been using it as a bookmark. And then I was like, this would be great in a junk journal. So he's holding a little scrap there. And so some of these, some of the things I put in here are just little favorite things that I didn't know what to do with. I like how this stamp turned out. Let me see if I can put a little closer. I inked it up with a brown first and then I just ran the black around the edges so it's got a two-tone look there. The lighting is not great. I do not have professional lighting but I'm doing my best here. Oh and then I just added, I added an eyelet just recently right there and added this seam binding and put some charms on the outside there and then this is like a bookmark, which it's just tied, so I might shorten it a little bit, but it's just that I actually did that today. And I've had this book for months, months, months. So, 
but it's never too late to add to it, right? So I have no idea if this is going to be too long since I'm really new at making videos, but I'm trying to do it again. So I'm trying to get practice and talk and not sound like a lunatic, which I think I'm pretty good at that. Not the talking and not sounding like a lunatic, but the talking and actually sounding like a lunatic. That's why I really need to work on it. Sometimes when I get nervous, or a lot of times when I get nervous, I start to ramble. So I'm just practicing and hopefully I'll be doing better as I go on. This was a clothing tag. It's actually like a fabric. I think it's kind of like a canvas, but I've got, you know, I, I, I've started holding on to the cute clothing tags that I find, and some of them are really pretty. And we're using them in here. We'll scrap paper here. I did washi for the, well, where you might put a ribbon or something. I don't even know what that's called. This guy has a rat on it. And then this has some burlap ribbon here. And here's another cute clothing tag. Doesn't even say the name on there. And this is chipboard solid piece. So that's it. I hope you like it. Thanks for letting me share with you and have a great day.